MRD stands for Minimal Residual Disease. It refers to the very small number of myeloma cells that are present in the bone marrow after treatment. This number might be so small, the patient may have no symptoms or physical sign of the disease. Traditional tests of treatment response are also unlikely to detect these remaining cells. MRD testing helps measure the effectiveness of a treatment by detecting the remaining cells, therefore helping to predict risks of relapse. The International Myeloma Working Group defines MRD negativity as no myeloma cells being detected in 100,000 cells through the use of sensitive laboratory techniques known as flow cytometry or next generation sequencing. MRD negativity indicates a very deep response to the treatment. If this is maintained over time with repeated MRD testing, patients will on average have longer periods of remission and overall survival. It's important to remember that MRD negativity does not guarantee longer overall survival or a cure, and that a change in an MRD result does not necessarily lead to clinical relapse. In myeloma, treatment response is typically measured with tests examining the levels of M protein and or free light chains in the serum and urine and the number of plasma cells in the bone marrow. Measurement can involve manually counting myeloma cells in a bone marrow sample under a microscope. Using current response criteria, a complete response requires less than 5% of myeloma cells in the bone marrow. MRD testing using flow cytometry or next generation sequencing is a lot more sensitive than the usual tests of treatment response. For example, the latest techniques are capable of detecting one myeloma cell in one million normal cells. Using MRD testing, laboratory specialists can therefore detect or count remaining myeloma cells which would otherwise be missed. Testing for MRD requires patients to undergo bone marrow aspiration or biopsy to collect a sample. Measuring MRD from blood samples is currently under research. The bone marrow sample is then used to perform flow cytometry or next generation sequencing to count the remaining myeloma cells. Researchers and doctors also use imaging such as PET or CT scans to check for residue disease out of the bone marrow. What research has shown is that patients with sustained MRD negativity, commonly measured by remaining negative for 12 months, have a reduced risk of disease progression and improved survival. When compared with other prognostic factors, MRD has also been shown to be superior and the most relevant predictor of clinical outcome. MRD is mostly being used in clinical trials. It is not yet ready for widespread use in myeloma as there are still outstanding questions. For example, if a patient is MRD positive, is it necessary to switch treatments at this point? There are some other key questions that MRD clinical trials are currently looking at. For instance, how can MRD be used in treatment decision making? For example, can a patient stop, escalate or change treatment based on MRD positivity or negativity? If MRD can be used in treatment decision making, how and when should the test be conducted? What does sustained MRD negativity mean in the long term and in different disease stages? The use of MRD has the potential to be an important improvement and a step towards a personalized approach of treatment for patients. For example, MRD could be predictive of the expected prognosis. It may no longer be necessary to wait for disease symptoms to appear before making treatment decisions or pausing treatment. However, in order to better understand the impact MRD is likely to have in the real world, we need to see the data from ongoing clinical trials on their use. Despite its regular use in clinical trials, a minority of myeloma treatment centers use MRD testing in clinical practice. There are tangible benefits in using MRD, but there are also certain caveats and shortcomings of its use that need to be considered before MRD is used more widely. For example, MRD testing may require repeat bone marrow aspiration and or biopsy, which can negatively impact a patient's quality of life. Even though there is a standardization process underway, Optimal timing of MRD assessment during and after treatment is still unclear. 
It still remains unclear what MRD negativity means for different subgroups of myeloma patients, such as those with high-risk disease. While increasingly accepted in some settings, treatment decisions based on MRD are under debate and more data is needed. MRD testing shows great promise, but more research must be conducted to understand its use in treatment decision-making and standardize its measurement. If you want to know more, visit the Myeloma Patients Europe website to check out our other resources on MRD.